Hey guys, it's 6420 Rolo here, and I'm going to show you guys my top three ways to win gold fast in the Elder Scrolls Online. You're going to want experience in players and maybe some high level crafting levels. One way to make money would be to farm nodes like alchemy, woodworking, blacksmithing, clothing, and enchanting. And I'm going to show you guys how to farm kudas and enchanting materials and stuff like that. We're going to show us Makai. I'm going to show you guys my route. I'm going to play a game of Follow the Templar, where you follow my Templar and he shows you how to pick up Kudas. This is the same route I take every single time I go. Um, the runestones spawn all the time. And this is about a 10 minute video where I get 6 Kudas. I mean, it's really good. I can get about 50 Kudas in 2 days if I really just grind it out in 2 days, which is ridiculous money. I mean, all you have to do is get your enchanting level up, get all the uh, keen eye up, and go look for these runestones. They spawn in the same spot every single time. You might have a little bit of competition, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of runestones, so you don't really have to worry about it. So enjoy the route, guys. Um, replay the video a few times, maybe. That way you guys can make sure you guys go the same route. I've done this a few times, and... My buddy Brenny actually showed me this route, and so far, this is the fastest route for the most runestones per yard, per meter, per foot, per hour, per minute, whatever you want to call it. So, enjoy. Secrets of the game. So now I'm going to show you guys my favorite way to make money, which is farming Telvar and Alliance points. First thing you want to do is get in a small group of elite players. You'll be taking on the district boss at all times. Um, sometimes you'll be taking on the enemy flag and enemies will come along with it. So you might fight a Zerg of 20, 10, 6, 2, you know, a whole bunch of different people that you can fight. So you want to be ready for it. You want your group to be ready, self-sustainable, a lot of damage. Make sure everybody knows what they're doing. You don't want to invite... I try to invite 500 and up, which means 500 champion points and up. Just means that you've been playing the game a while and nothing else. There's a lot of 500 people that don't know what they're doing as well. No offense to other people. I used to feel kind of left out when I was under 500 champion points. The only reason for this is because it's kind of hard in situations that you get yourself into. You know, you can play a little bit aggressive and I want to make sure everybody can just hold their own. Simple as that. Um... So you want to take the district flags, find the bosses, burn them out real quick, you get a nice little multiplier, sometimes you get a thousand, up to two thousand, it splits around the group, so the less players you have, the higher uh, the multiplier will be, one person will get a whole bunch, but you know, it's a whole bunch of work, and this way, it's fun, it's a surefire way to do it, like me and my group kind of know what they're doing, so we just keep repeating the process, we loop it around, you want to pick a direction, either clockwise or cl counterclockwise, and just take the flag, kill the boss, and continue on your way. Once you get enough Telvar stones where you're happy, um, in the beginning that was around 4,000 with us, now it's around 10,000 to me. Um, you want to either go down to the Elven Garden sewers, which is the Tredagrafal, or whatever your home sewers is for you, and go deposit your stones the only risk would be that sometimes there's gankers and if you want to avoid that all you have to do is buy a sigil of imperial retreat which is 10,000 alliance points also you can find them in the chest if you get lucky so uh, we we do that sometimes some often especially if we have like three people or two people sometimes we do it with two people it's much harder believe me but you can totally do it but as long as you stick together, you 
you continue the objective, you can get 20,000 teleport stones per hour. Really simple. Uh, just enjoy. This is literally 57 minutes. Both of these clips together, they were all one thing. I just cut out the bank. And the 57 minutes included the bank, so it was quick, quick teleport stone farming per hour. Just stick together, continue to do this, and this isn't going to get past. This is a good way to do it without having to rely on ganking other people, so enjoy. Now we're going to show you how to farm AP. So you want to be in a small group as well, but here we're going to be in a group of 14. That way we can do bigger things, you know. We're going to go into an enemy keep while another enemy is taking it. Make sure you wipe everybody on the outskirts, that way you're not going to get ganked from behind you. Take out the big group all together. Make sure you check all three levels, top floor. Rush, pick one of the edge of the corner and camp it. The best way to camp is to be on the second floor. That way when they come up, you guys kill them on the stairs. You can drop oil, drop heals, drop ultimates, all that good stuff. Make sure you res your players. Keep an eye on them. You don't wanna be outnumbered even further than you already are. So now we're gonna continue the work that the enemy was doing and siege the wall. Once we get the wall down, you, you want to be aggressive and you want to kind of push in, but you want to be together. You don't want to push in a little bit at a time. You don't want to get wiped a little bit at a time. It's not as effective that way. You want to make sure that you have barriers and rapid maneuvers and all kinds of things to, so you can avoid that oil and all the snaring effects that can come with entering the castle. I didn't listen to my own advice. Luckily, my teammates know what they're doing and they already moved in. Take all the flags and make sure to clear out all the enemies on the outskirts. Come back and repair the inner wall first, then the outer wall. Nice little AP farm. After you get all the AP, you want to spend it how you see fit. If you think that buying these uh, little boxes will give you most money possible, Go for that. Sometimes it will, but sometimes you get two out of three that's not even worth it. And one of them will get you maybe 50k. Um, with AP, you could also buy motifs and different things. Farming high level gear. This could actually make you a lot of money. Farming Sanctum on normal or farming Ma on normal, maybe on vet, will get you so much money if you sell good traded armor, good traded rings, and necklaces. So here we're doing a uh, normal mob lore cause we're on the final boss. We're, we're doing it with 11 people, it's not too hard. Just make sure you guys know your mechanics because we can do it with 15 people and it'd be impossible if they don't know the mechanics. So just make sure that's the main thing that you guys concern yourself with, making sure you have good players, good heals, listen to crown. The runners are basically doing all the work for you, you just gotta do the DPS. So. After doing each run of Sanctum and each run of Ma, you're gonna get one ring, necklace, or sword. And good luck to you. Hopefully, you get a good trade thing. Some sell for like 300k, like the Worm Coal rings, and some things will lose their value because of supply and demand. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, comment. Thank you.